Hi, I'm Mark. I have an oven in my car and little to no experience in baking. Join me as I bake in my car. Hey. Welcome to another episode of Baked in My Car. Today we're in Gundungurra country and we're camped at Urandari, an abandoned silver and lead mining town that prospered in the early part of last century. We're going to be doing something a little bit different and doing a slow cooked pork belly with tortillas and pico de gallo. Here's the ingredient you're going to need. You want to dry the pork belly and salt it heavily for 24 hours before you put it in the oven. And then all you need to do at camp is transfer it to a preheated oven tray and whack it in the oven at 160 for about 6 hours. Now the next step is to fill in the time with activities. We drank a beer, climbed a mountain, put a rock at the top of said mountain. We also may have gotten lost. Shit, wrong way. Better go back. If that's not your speed, while you're waiting, you can go and drive over stuff, or just chill out at camp. Five hours later. About an hour before you want to eat, you want to start making your pico de gallo. Here we've got an onion, some jalapenos, tomatoes, limes, and some coriander. Here's a list you can screenshot for later. First thing you want to do is dice the tomatoes. You want it to look roughly like this, but don't follow my knife technique because I know it's terrible. I'll put a link in the description to where you can buy the bowls that I'm using. Now the next thing you want to do is add the onion. Dice the onion roughly like this and chuck it in a bowl. I shouldn't have to say this, but make sure you wash your hands really well before you cook anything. Now cut a lime in half and squeeze the juice in. Cut up your coriander, just the leaves, and whack that in as well. You also want to chuck some jalapenos in there to taste. Now about 30 to 45 before eating, take the pork belly out of the oven and remove the fat. Should look something like this. We're going to make crackling using an Osbry over the fire. First thing you want to do is carefully cut the fat from the meat and then whack it in the Osbry. You may remember our guest chef today from our bread and butter pudding video. So Tim, what's your YouTube channel? Uh, Dim Sim Outdoors. Make sure you like and subscribe. Now look at that pork crackling over the fire. Just watch it carefully to make sure it doesn't burn. Now add a bit of pork rub and put the pork belly back into the oven for the rest of the time. Listen to that crackle. Now pull the pork with a fork and serve it with your pico de gallo and some tortillas. Now go sit by a campfire and enjoy your meal. And there you have it, pulled pork baked all in your car. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow us on Instagram at bakedinmycar.